Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to discuss the inevitable ageing of industrial civilization. I'm making this video in the spring of 2012, a year that some have associated with the end of the world as we know it, but also a season that reminds us of the repeating cycles of life. We all recognise the continuous patterns of nature. In the spring, new growth emerges from apparent decay. By the summer, it then reaches its prime. In time, the golden browns of the fall take hold and we descend into another winter. But as we all know, the cycle will continue. The patterns of successive human civilizations may take far longer to repeat, but are probably no different. The demise of the old and the rise of the new is simply part of the ongoing cycle of life. Many mighty civilizations rose to greatness and then fell long before the emergence of the modern industrial age. And we'd be foolish to believe that this will not happen again. Industrial civilization has not achieved immortality. Indeed today, the very foundations of our current mode of living are evidently in decay. It is possible that we may gradually migrate to a new, more sustainable mode of industrial civilization. But it's equally possible that the natural order will require a cycle of decline and replacement rather than a transitional evolution. Fairly soon, industrial civilization is going to start hitting many practical resource constraints. Yet in the face of this challenge, we are achieving incredible technological progress. We must therefore learn to leverage our collective wisdom in the face of diminishing physical opportunity. This is also the challenge that every person has to face as they grow older and is not something to be feared. Due to the small number of years that they've lived, most young people know comparatively little. However, most young people more than make up for this due to their near boundless energy. Sadly, by the time most people hit 30, and certainly by the time they hit 40, the vitality of their youth has faded away. However, by this age, most people have garnered considerable knowledge and experience. Most older people therefore do look forward to the remainder of their lives, even though they know that they've passed their physical prime. In comparison to a human being, I would suggest that industrial civilization is now 30-something. The near boundless energy of our collective youth has therefore been spent. This also means that we're about to transition from our late summer to our early fall. As this occurs, we will need to rely far more on our wisdom to help us achieve more with less. Eventually, this will no longer be possible, but that day lies a long way into the future. Much as we may hate to admit it, industrial civilization is part of the natural world. As such, it's probably also subject to a natural cycle of rise and fall. This is also an idea we may need to embrace in order to cope most successfully with what lies ahead. More information on a wide range of future challenges, technologies and mindsets can be found on explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.